with another Atari 2600 stream. This is uh, one of our last ones. That's right, we are nearing the end of the officially licensed Atari 2600 games. There aren't too many left. Um, up on screen now is something called Cruise Missile. Uh, the note on Wikipedia says it's the same game as Exocet that was released by Panda. And I did play this on stream, I believe, at some point. Uh, maybe I didn't. I'm trying to look through my notes. Anywho, we're going to try to play it now. I'm pretty sure this is going to suck. So, uh, we won't be playing for long. Let me pull up a, uh, it's nice, but what, what did I say this was? Cruise Missile? Cruise Missile. We have, or do we have a manual? Yes, we have a manual. It's a full color action game for one player. Well, there are some colors there. I'm not sure that's full, but whatevs. Um, your mission is to destroy the guard towers and enter the secret tunnel that leads to whatever. All right, so we're going to try this for a couple of minutes before I hate it. Yeah, I don't. Oh, see, to fire, you have to push the directional. I don't understand where the uh go under the ground. Wow, that's like a... you can shoot down. You can. Okay, that's not how you do it. Maybe you can't shoot down. Okay, so you cannot shoot down up here. I just don't like how you have to push the directional and the fire button to shoot in that direction. So we're just going to move on. That was not really worth wasting any time on, really. So we are currently in 1987. And the Atari 2600 is still, oh no. What just happened here? What just happened? Okay, good. I thought the internet went down. Um, we are, wait, did we do the first party games from 87? Or am I jumping ahead here? Yeah, I jumped ahead. There's a three three first party games from 1987 I just jumped the gun it's all good so let's bring up something called crossbow what am I looking at Pull up the manual. Over scorching deserts. Through dark ice. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, excuse me. We're using the joystick, but what are we doing? No idea. This manual is a little long for whatever the game this is. So this is crossbow for the Atari.
Your adventure begins on the path screen. This screen shows your first friend and the six danger zones you must pass through. Once you've chosen a game level and press reset or the fire button, which I've been pushing. Across both sides, a small square appears. Yep, yep, you must figure out what path stays take. Wow, this is overly complicated for whatever it is. Desert? No idea. No idea what's going on here. Oh, am I supposed to shoot this? Really? So I get what they're trying to do, but this is kind of stupid. Can I go? What's what's green? Oh wait. Oh, so you're supposed to shoot what's coming. Well, what just happened? Really? That touched his shoe? Is that is that the problem? Alright, that's crossbow. There's a reason the Atari sucks. Nobody really talks about Atari games anymore. Um, moving on. I guess where I played this. Desert Falcon? Which is not the game on screen. I'll pull that up in a second. This is Desert Falcon. Um, a daring desert quest for treasure. Um, what am I doing? Looks like it might be a shooter. Oh no, is it like one of those first person flying games that I'm gonna hate? Who is shooting at me? Who is sh Who? Who, who is shooting at me? <laughs> this game sucks. All right, let's move on. That's Desert Falcon. A game that nobody needs to play. You can gain altitude. Yeah, you know what? I'm good, I'm good. I'm good. All right, let's move on uh, to the last Atari 2600 first person first party game of 1987 and it's a sports game real sports boxing oh let's see what the demo for this dumb are oh, you a bird i thought you were playing a... oh desert falcon whatever let me pull up real sports boxing um that didn't pull up anything. I don't like sports for the most part, and I hate, well, I don't hate, but I uh, like video games, sports games even less. Video games, sport games, sport video games, video sports, I don't know. So I'm pretty sure I'm gonna hate this one, but I'm willing to give it just a few seconds. Um, ba -da -ba -do, ba -da -ba. what am I doing? I 
Yeah, this seems this seems a little too complicated for my liking. Should I even try it? So you have to use the directional. Directional along with the fire bu button or the action button. Whatever. I'm on the left, I'm the middle-aged Hulk Hogan ripoff. I'm not even sure the AI knows what it's doing. Wow, that timer's fast. Take a rest. I'm guessing I'm winning. I don't know. I'm hoping there's only three rounds. It's dumb, just like real boxing. Let's move on. Um, so now we're in the third party games in 1987. Already did cruise missile. Um, what else we got? Aye. Next is Kung Fu Master, which I'm not a fan of. Oh, wait a minute. This is Kung Fu. This is Kung Fu. Probably one of the easiest NES games that I have never beaten. And I'm going to play it on the Atari. Do I need instructions? Oh, let me pull them up anyway. Where are we? Kung Fu Master. Kung Fu. Really? There we go. From Activision says it's a fair port um yeah it's kung fu there are five levels are there five in the NES version I don't think so well just like the NES version I will probably suck I hate games where you have to push up to jump. I can't hear the music. I don't know what the deal is. Why why can't I don't why is this a bad ROM or something? So you can't. So I would have to jump over those, pushing them up. I think it's the same thing in the NES version. Why did you punch? Thank you. 
I guess I should have jumped. I just don't like pushing up to jump. It's like an automatic. Try to power through that, but whatever. That's Kung Fu Master. Flying through these games. Mike Butcher, how are you doing? Doing okay, just trying to get through these Atari 2600 games so I can move on to the 7800. Because I like to, uh, like to punish myself, I guess. So the next two games, according to Wikipedia, have already been released. So I don't know if they're updates or not, but I'm pretty sure I'm okay skipping. But that brings us to skateboarding. Literally, boarding. Skateboarding. That's. I don't even know if I have that. Do I? Why do I have that? Ay, ay, ay. This is going to be painful. This is gonna let, let me pull up the manual here. Maybe there's some some kind of lore. All the kids love lore. Skateboarding. No G. You know you're late for school, but we you <laughs> Oh Lord. But what you don't know is that just overnight. An array of obstacles has been placed along the way. Radical, man. This is a skateboarder's dream come true. You have to get to school on time. I don't think I'm reading this the right way. Dude, you know you're late for school. But what you don't know is that just overnight, an array of obstacles has been placed along the way. Radical, man. This is a skateboarder's dream come true. You have to get to school on time, but passing up the chance to ride ramps or... This is, these are the longest sentences. This manual, this is, I, I don't know. Were all manuals back then just, just painful to read? Let's just do this. Let's just, let's just figure it out for the next 20 seconds. So I have five minutes, I guess. So you're not even skateboarding. You are holding the skateboard walking. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay, can I skateboard? So you have to press the directional. This way, this way. Okay. Oh, I wanted to go up that. Can I go faster? Oh. I bet I have to jump this. <laughs> That's not how you do it. Wow. Skate or die, this is not. I mean, really, this is the game? Oh, those are brick walls. Can I walk through it? I go down? Is that? I have no idea. I disappeared. That's skateboarding. of a jaunty song. So next up we have Summer Games. Maybe. If I choose to. Which probably has a skateboard in it. Or no. Wow, that's 
So I'm guessing this game... Well, that's pretty loud. This game might be similar to uh, Activision Decathlon, where I just push buttons as fast as I can. Uh, words, words, words. All right, how many events are there? One, two, three, four, five, six. Pushing the limits of the Atari here. Oh, you get to choose your country, holy moly. Oh, well, why not? Okay, why not? Okay, oh, I see. No idea what I'm doing. Hello? I don't even know if I'm on the top or the bottom. Is this one where I have to push up? <laughs> I'm on top. And I don't know why I can't jump. Do I have to push up? Yes. I, how am I supposed like maybe if I had a joystick but since I'm using uh, the ps4 uh, what did it analog control it's a little tough and by a little tough I mean almost impossible I think the best thing that could happen now is if the game crashes. Okay, now what? Okay. Fall. When was I supposed to go? Okay. <laughs> this is horrible. I don't even know what... Is this just a button masher? Because... I'm not even pushing anything. Am I supposed to? Michael Phelps got his son. Please let this be it. Oh, you gotta go back. Okay, I'm done with summer game. would be winter games no after that would be california games no let's do something more uh up my alley title match pro wrestling i used to be a big wrestling fan grow what is this this looks just like the boxing game i played is this the one where i have to push like Scroll through the menu of moves and then push the action button to get the move to work. And what? There are two mo moids, two moids of joystick control used during gameplay. The first is joystick mode, which is simply moving the joystick around. Your wrestler's movement or pattern will correspond to that of your joystick. See, they had to name that. 
they had to name it joystick mode. You're just moving around. The second is button mode. To switch from joystick into button mode, you must first release the joystick. Then press the button and use one of the four joystick positions to execute a move. To use button mode, you must... Why is this so complicated? Why are all of these games so complicated for no reason? Let's give this 20 seconds. Alright, I'm up top there. Alright, is this a one player game or just two? Yeah, I'm skinhead. Yeah, okay, whatever. Why is this not working now? Maybe it's not meant to be. Let's move on to something that's actually playable. Ay, ay, ay. So it looks like they ported Commando to the Atari 2600. Oh. All right, let's give this 20 seconds. Why can't I? So why do my bullets not go that far? Yeah, I'm hitting him, right? I mean... <laughs> Let me just stand here. At least their bullets travel as far as mine, so that's pretty. I don't know how to shoot grenades. That could probably help me. So he's he, he seems to be shooting farther. Why? Commando. Well, if the Atari 2600 wanted to end things, oh, I'm already in 88. I'm skipping ahead. Skipping. Were there any 88 games? Uh, first party 88 games? There were. All right, let's go back to the first party games for 88. I just want to be done. These are really, like, I knew these were going to be bad, but amazingly, they have gotten worse. And I don't know if it's because they knew the Atari 2600 by this point, by 86, 87, was just, pointless to um, develop for. I don't know. 
What is the next game? I don't think I have the next game. What is it called? Dark Chambers? I do not see that. Dark Chambers. I have it. Is it a PAL game? It looks like it might be. Well, it looks like I have it for the Atari 7800. Let's move on. I've spent too much brain power trying to figure this out. 88, Defender 2. I am burping like crazy, and I don't know why. Defender 2, look at that. 1984. Maybe that's when the uh, arcade version came out, maybe? Oh, okay. Oh, what's that? Is it okay if you fall? Because I don't want to catch you. Aha! <laughs> Not okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I hit it before it hit me. And that one, you got me. Oh, game over. Indeed it is. Defender II. Flying through these, flying through these. 1988, we got something called Sprint Master. Maybe. Unfortunately. Man, what a banger. Oh, no. Just do one lap. Well, you can pick. Oh, that's pretty neat, I guess. I don't know what color I'm supposed to be. Red, because I'm losing. It's one of those games where. What are those called? Tank controls? Oh, I had to finish. Is that what it is? Tank controls where you, uh... You go in the direction as if you're the actual character. Plus, I don't like these games anyway. There are too many games like this. Basically, you're just pushing right and holding the action button.
All right, that's Sprint Master. Which I'm pretty sure, wasn't there a game called Super Sprint? Maybe this is a uh, version of that. Um, next up for the first party, Atari 2600 games of 1988 is called something called Super Baseball. Let's see how it looks before I commit to playing it. I used to like baseball growing up. Oh, this is so slow. I don't, am I pitching? Oh, I am pitching. Is it going to swing? I mean... sucky did it have to be in 1988 when all your friends are getting Nintendos and cool games why did it pitch automatically I didn't push anything I don't understand what's happening right, we're good we're good with super baseball I'm not even gonna Catalog that. Catalog it. I'm, I'm rating these. I still haven't uploaded this document to Google Docs so you can view it. Someday. Anyway, what I was saying, um, how sucky did it have to be? Super football? No. Well, let's see what it looks like. Um... All your friends are getting Nintendos and cool games like Legend of Zelda and Metroid and you're stuck with the Atari 2600 and you have to play something like Super Baseball. Which I'm sure is fine for two players and hey, you know. But is it? Is it fine? Super Football, what does this look like? This looks horrible. Can I, can I pass it? I mean, I'm not a fan of football, but I do like 10 yard fight, which is a simple game. Oh, I see. When I push a direction, a little. Okay. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I don't have the patience to learn any of this crap. Okay, so that's the end of the first party games of 88. Third party, we're going to... So I did Commando. River Raid 2 is next. Why did I pull that up? River Raid 2. Uh... It's amazing how I got in front of it and it just decided to fire. Throw. 
Huh. It just can't be a shooter. It has to be a... Why, why, are, why? Is it because I'm pushing down? Well, usually when you're playing a... Uh, uh, flying game, down is up and up is down. Couldn't even move out of the way. That's a pretty big damn river if you got aircraft carriers and shit in it. River Raid 2. That was River Raid 2. Um, Seahawk. Which sounds like it's another horrible game. Seahawk. Those are some awful sound effects. Let's say when you push push down and fire, it'll do that little number, that bomb number. So this is one where you gotta push directional and fire. I'm not sure what the point is other than just to keep shooting. This is called C. to kill a certain number. Parachute, that's fine. Is this over yet? It's over. That's Seahawk. Team 88, something. Uh, it's another. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know if I'm going to play this next game. I'm not really a fan of flying games. The next game on the list is Tomcat, the F-14 fighter sing. Yeah, I'm not playing this. Um, 1988, Pete Rose Baseball? No, don't pause. Pete Rose. Kind of looks like this is blue. Kitchen. Okay. Can you move towards the ball, maybe? Can you move? So the catcher? Wait, where, where am I? This 
So you have to push the directional and the action button to pick the player to control. Why? Yeah, okay. Pete Rose Baseball. There are better baseball games. Let's just, let's just nail these real fast. Um, let's move to 89. Double dunk. Which is probably, if I had to guess, a basketball game. It is. Super basketball. Shit. Nice. Can I play? I don't even know what I'm supposed to do. Am I even doing it or is this the demo? It's basketball anyway. I don't play sports. Don't like sports. Um, Akari Warriors would be next. Well, how do I do the grenade? You know what? Let me pull up the manual so I can suck less. I can't believe they made Akari Warriors for the Atari. Okay, it's a toss grenades. Hold down the fire button for one or two seconds until the grenade launches. That's probably how you do it too for a command mode. Let's try it. ammo. You get in a tank? Shoot at an angle. Oh, you can. See, this would be easier with the joystick. Then. I thought I had one in my life. I do. What? What just happened? As a card warriors. Needless to say, the NES version is tremendously better. And then off the wall. Oh, is it a breakout game? Oh yeah. Require the paddle because it's not gonna work for me. Come on, joystick. Um, yeah, seems like uh, it's a breakout game. I won't be playing this for long. What do 
we doing here? Losing, that's what we're doing. I just don't have the... Uh, I don't know if it's hand-eye coordination for these games. Is that what that is? It's kind of like I can't judge. That's the thing, I can't judge the distance. Plus, I got all this shit coming down at me. The, uh, I guess they're enemies. Yeah, I'm good. I don't I mean breakout games. Uh, whatever. What's up next? We're still in a uh, yeah. first party games radar lock, which might be a. I'll give it a couple seconds. See? When you, when you when you push down you go up I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay, now what? It's not like I can... What are we doing? What's going on here? I don't know how to turn, like... Yeah, I'm pre probably out of fuel, but I don't know how to get more. How come I can't fuck me? That's radar lock. You know, for, for such a simple video game system, there were sh certainly some complicated fucking Atari games. For no reason. None. We're still in 89. Roadrunner. 
Really? Oh, lovely. Cars ahead. if I can jump the truck. If I read the manual, I might understand. I mean, I'm just pushing. You know, even if I did understand, I don't think the game would be any better. game. It says it's an adventure game. It's called Secret Quest. But I'm really not going to play an RPG or anything on the Atari. I'm not even sure I want to play this. Oh, do I put my initials? Is that what this is? Uh, do I need instructions? Secret quest. Not seeker. Secret quest. So it's kind of like a Zelda clone, rip-off clone. One of the few 2600 games to use a passcode feature. Okay, saving the human race. All right, let's start over here. You have to put both initials in. Kind of like a resource manager type deal. So there's really a thing. I mean some energy.
so I cannot fire until I get energy. Then how? How can I? I have no idea what's going on. Um, seeker. I, why? Why can I not spell this word? Secrets. Secrets. I mean, I can see what they were doing. What they were going for. But don't make it so complicated. Whatever. We're almost done. Um, let's move to the third party, 1989. 1989? I guess. Yeah. Oh, wow. Double Dragon for the Atari. 2600. This is going to be a thing of beauty. difficulty setting I need to do. It's, the default is the hardest. And I can't even get off the first screen. Let's just try that one more time. I can't, why can I not jump it? some Rampage. I remember um, in college getting Rampage World Tour and me and my friend drank and played every stage. It was, it was, it was, it was a fun time. This does not look like a fun time. Let's do George. Ralph has an exclamation point. Ralph! So 
So how do I destroy the buildings? Jumping. All right. Yeah. There's a special place in video game hell for the Atari 26. BMX Air Master. It's a sports game. I'm not going to play it. Let's move to 1990. Actually, were there any other first party games? Oh, 1990. Okay. Um, Moto Rodeos? Racing Driving? No, I'm not doing that. Um, Sentinel. We are almost finished. Oh, it's a light light gun for the Atari 2600? Really? Let me look this up. Why would there be one for the 2600? It's compatible with the 7800 and the 2600 consoles. Wow. That is interesting. I never knew that. Well, we're not going to play it. Xenophobe, I believe. Um, I've played that on the NES. Up is jump. I hate that. The bullets don't even go far. Why does it look like he's like playing a banjo? Jump over it, hopefully. Just get on with it. Do 
I still have to do that again. I do. Go. Yeah, what's not working for me is the controls. At all. Alright, that's xenophobe. It's just the controls. Uh, when you have to fight, when when you're when you have to overcome the controls, it you can't play the game. It's it's, it's impossible. I mean, not impossible, but it's impossible to enjoy the game. Let's move on. That was we only got a few left. I think that is the final first party Atari 2600 game. And I'm okay with that. So 1990, we're looking, okay, that's PAL. Um, yeah, I think a lot of these are just I think the rest are pal. What does the Wikipedia say? Um, okay, so Xenophobe was the final licensed Atari 2600 game released in North America. The final licensed games released in Europe were Clax and Acid Drop in 1990 and 92, respectively. Let's do Clax and Acid Drop, and we're done with the... Uh, Licensed Atari 2600 games. Let's do Clax first. Oh. Do I not have those? Can I get them? Maybe. See if I, well, no, I already have the manual up here. Let me take a quick look. I know it's a puzzle game. I've played this before. I just can't remember. Uh, oh, it's a paddle game? Is it really? That says joystick. All right, you've selected your level. Now the colored tiles start to tumble down the ramp. You zoom your paddle back and forth with the joystick, I assume, to catch the tiles and flip them into the bins to create rows of same color tiles. The rows can be vertical, horizontal, or diagonal. And three or more tiles in a row create a clack. Sounds easy, right? No, doesn't really sound easy. Uh, where are you? Okay. Um, yeah, you must get three claxes. Okay, what did I do now? So, oh, I see. I see what's going on here. So I have to catch them and then bring them over. Okay. And this is probably as fast as it's gonna go because the Atari was not known for its speed. So that's one clax. Okay, I get it. This might actually be fun. 
Might be the best game we play today. I did say maybe, right? Oh, I could have. Yeah. Could have. For a Tetris ripoff, well, is it really a ripoff? I mean, it's different enough to be its own thing. And maybe Clax came first. I don't know. Oh, it's a darker blue. Oh, well then, is that the same? Okay. Just fall. Oh, if it falls, you don't get it. And you have three chances, it looks like. Oh, did not want to do that. Well, that's what. It's a dark one, right? Good. Is this a dark one too? No. This might be the uh, best game we've played. Tonight, let's get diagonals. So what happens if I just get a vertical? Like, will they hold it against me? is called Clax. You're just joining me. Let's get, are we doing points? Is that what the deal is? I mean, I could probably be getting fancy, but, uh, I'm 
just screwing up left and right here. Nice. Totally meant to do that. Must survive 40 tiles. It's going a little faster now. Anybody else experience this when they get involved in a game that's nerve-wracking? Their their face starts to itch. I mean, maybe mine does it because my head heats up. What just happened? That's Clax. Yeah, anytime I like play Tetris or whatever, like. I know I have dry skin, but it's like my head heats up and it makes my skin itch. Oh, it's, it's weird. It's weird. That was kind of fun. Not really. Yeah, no, it was. It was kind of fun. So next up is the final licensed Atari 2600 game. And I don't think I have it. Acid Drop? It's a PAL game, so I probably do have it just... There it is. Wow, is that really the title screen? Looks like it. Salu Limited. Press fire when I am not. Oh, it's 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 columns. Those are awful. Awful. Okay, right, so you can't get diagonals in this. Let me turn that down and start over. I like Columns. Columns is a fun game. Why? Oh, is it because the screen... Is this showing up? Yeah, it's not. I think because it's a PAL uh, thingy. Let me see if I can get a better uh, copy of Acid Drop. Is it going to work? It does not look like it. It does not look like it's going to work. Par for the course there when it comes to Atari games. Well, that's it. We have finished all of the licensed Atari 2600 games. Let me put something on the screen here while, while we wrap. Yeah, why do I have Donkey Kong 1987 on here? Is that? Oh, wait a minute. Maybe it didn't work because the emulation was paused. Okay, I think that might be it. Is this going to show up? Okay, that's better. Let's play this. So I'm guessing, we, oh, we could do that? How do we? And those are different colors, okay.
I bet this is the only song this game has. Yeah, there's nothing. Okay, so you can do... Yeah, that makes sense. It's like columns. A very basic columns. This might be the best game we played tonight. I mean, Clax was okay. I just don't know what happened at the end there. Oh, but there's three in a row there. Looks like three in a row, at least. Oh. So you can't hold left to go all the way. That's unfortunate. I like that, that random beep. Just beep. So how many do I have to do to increase uh, levels here? Because I'm already tired of the game. I did not mean to do that. I hope you like this song because we're going to hear it for a while. Nice. I probably should have done, yeah. That up. Whatever. Oh, it goes, oh, nice. I like, okay, so we're at the next level. Oh, that was nice. It's pretty cool. It'd be nice to know how many I need. Probably should have read the manual. So this is the final official Atari 2600 release. Is that the dark? Okay. And, uh, not too bad. I mean, it's a pretty basic game. It's basically columns. Not quite, but... either. We'll see. Oh yeah, that'll work. 
don't know what I was looking at. Can I get a blue? Yeah, we got some blue coming. This is going to be a massive... Nice. Nowhere to really put that either. So we'll just do that. Nowhere to put that either. See, I don't know why it didn't give me that pink line. Is it because I needed to complete it? And the dark one. I'm losing interest. It's like every Atari 2600 game has like a, a unspoken time limit almost. Like the human mind can only play an Atari 2600 game for three minutes. Which seems accurate. No, yeah, that's not. This song is so repetitive. Okay, yeah, let's do in the middle. Wipe it out. We are at level three of a billion. Who knows? And it doesn't seem like anything's getting faster. Can you stand this music? Trying to um grab my uh train of thought in. We were trying to create their answer to Tetris. Which was huge in the uh, mid to late eighties, early nineties. I mean huge.
called Acid Drop, we're just tuning in. It's basically columns. And I am basically losing interest. Just down the middle. There we go. It's the dark one though. Check chat in a moment. That's the dark one. I screwed up. It's, they're both dark. difficult to discern the pinks. I mean, I know there's a difference. tired anyway. All right, so that was Acid Drop. That was the final officially licensed Atari 2600 game. Not a moment too soon. I put up here while we wrap. Let's put this up. So that's that. We have finished our run through of the officially licensed Atari 2600 games. I'd like to say it was fun. It really wasn't. Looking back at my notes, there were only three, no, four. One, two, four games that I consider worth playing today. And this is four out of 
I don't know, 200, 300 games maybe? Let me just do a quick, yeah, probably. The majority of these games, I wouldn't say are unplayable, but they just aren't any good. They did not stand the test of time. I did not discover any new gems. Um, the games I grew up with that I loved, I really don't love them now. Berserk was what it was. It needed a point instead of being just an endless shooter. Um, still like the idea. But, um, yeah, those were the Atari 2600 games. So I plan on streaming again tomorrow, and I will probably play the Atari 2600 prototypes, which include... Something called Alligator People. We have an A-Team game. Um, Blueprint. Boggle. Bugs Bunny. Cabbage Patch Kids. I mean, there's there's quite a bit. Um, that might be enough for one stream. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe we'll do the homebrews as well because I have a folder full of homebrews. Um, probably do that. I don't know. It just depends how long. I mean, I'm looking at the games I have. And if they're prototypes, I mean, they could only just have one stage or, you know, not much to begin with. Maybe tomorrow we'll just plan on the prototypes. Um, and then after we finish prototypes and the homebrews, we're gonna just leave the Atari 2600 behind and focus on the Atari 7800. Um, for those, I don't have, well, let's see how many licensed Atari uh, 7800 games there are. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice. Atari. Yeah, give me a list. There are 59. A fifth. I can't talk either. <clears throat> Excuse me. 59 officially released Atari 7800 games. And several of these are just rehashes of stuff I've either already played on stream or skipped. So that might be just one, one stream, maybe. But I do have Yeah, I don't know if I'll play the hacks for that. I mean most of the hacks for these Atari games are just like reskins. They're they they really don't add anything. Um plus the sooner we get out of the Atari ghetto the sooner we could play the Intellivision games and ColecoVision games and move on to the NES. Yeah, I don't think we'll play the 7800 hacks. Do I have any prototypes? It's just okay. So that'll be a quick stream. That'll be okay. That'll be good. So yeah. Um, after we finish the 7800 games, I wanted to do something called the Random Rumble, which I'll, uh, I'll have to set it up. Maybe I'll do that on stream too. It'd be interesting. In which um, the games will switch every 20 to 40 to 60 seconds. Um, every time I game over, I'm gonna have to eat a nasty jelly bean have to buy the nasty jelly beans, have to set up the script, have to set up everything. But uh, that won't be probably for another two weeks at the earliest. 
Um, so that's something to look forward to. So yeah, we are done. We are finished with the Atari 2600 official library. Tomorrow we'll do the prototypes and then maybe that's all we'll do tomorrow and then Wednesday do the homebrews. I think that'll work out. I think. Hopefully. Um, as always, thank you for watching. Thank you for following. Thank you for the love. I hope to see you again tomorrow. I don't know when exactly tomorrow. I'm looking at my schedule. Depends on if I get any work between now and tomorrow afternoon. It'd be great if I could get a afternoon stream going and just stream for hours and hours and uh, really plow through these games. We'll see. Don't really want to rush through games that are good, but you kind of got to get into, you know, got to read the manuals and whatever. But from experience, these Atari games are not worth the effort. But you are. You're worth the effort. Every one of you, you're worth it. Till tomorrow, stay safe.